Music making and music lessons were an ordinary part of childhood for children in the 19th century. Girls in particular were taught to play the harp or the keyboard and taught to sing as a way of entertaining the family, but also as a way of showing status and wealth. At Tatton Park, Charlotte Lucy Beatrix Edgerton learned with a Miss Pittman in the 1830s. We know this because there's an inscription on one of her books, The Pupil's Daily Exercise. Girls would begin to copy music uh, as soon as they learnt to read it. Here at Tatton Park, uh, we have a small manuscript book that was written out by Elizabeth Edgerton as a child. But later on with her cousin and her sister, um, she would copy out full scores of choral works and thus really understand how the music was made. I found the preludes that your mother copied when she was at school. I think she learnt these from her teacher, Mr Dance. Now, I would like you to try playing something a little simpler than these to start with. Could you play me a C major chord? And now an F major chord. And then let's have a G major chord. And now back to C again. Very nice. But if you played that before your piece, it would be a bit dull. Shall we try breaking those notes? So we will arpeggiate. After their initial lessons with their governess, uh, girls would go on to have uh, a visiting music master. Many composers and musicians in London also taught, and as well as giving lessons there, they might visit the country house and uh, stay on for music making after dinner. Not everyone thought that music was so important. The blue stocking writer and reformer Hannah Moore worked out that on average it took 14,400 hours of a young woman's life. Traditionally, what we call the science of music was seen as the province of boys. But these manuscript books do show us that uh, young women also were studying music very seriously. G major. And then, let's go somewhere else. Having started with an instruction book, they would move on to more difficult pieces. And here at Tatton Park, the music of Elizabeth Edgerton and her daughter Charlotte do show how they could play eventually very virtuosic music. Uh, perhaps the one everybody knows is The Battle of Prague, a famous piece by Kotzvara that every young lady should be able to play. <laughs> <laughs> 